what's up y'all thanks for tuning into my channel so this is going to be a channeled message for the collective so if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give this video a quick like and let's get into the video so i don't have any channeled messages right now but i'm just trying to see what the most high wants us to know so hopefully the energies have changed because these past couple of days it's just been the same stuff so if the energy is still the same i don't know i might have to give this energy a break for a couple of days and then come back because it's just been piggybacking off of each other so i don't know what y'all are going through um or what y'all have been going through but it looks like a lot okay so let's just see let's tap in Great Spirit, what do you want the what do you want the collective to know? What do you want us to know? Okay. So we have the Page of Pentacles, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, a new area of study. So y'all could be studying something more or looking into something more. All right. Um, maybe y'all are getting a new job, okay, and you're having to learn, y'all are going to training or something like that, y'all are, maybe some of y'all have orientation soon. All right, I'm also getting that your career, whatever you want your career to be, I feel like it's taking off, okay, you're seeing like bud, the buds of it or something like that, or yeah, something's taking off for you, or you might be studying something new. The bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords, the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. So this could be you or somebody else that you know, okay? Maybe some of y'all felt like you were stuck or trapped in a situation, or maybe some of y'all were out of work for a long time and you felt like um it was hard for you to get a job but i feel like you all will be getting like calls for interviews now okay um yeah new jobs all right so yay the energy's shifted i love that for us all right so let's tap into the tarot the syrian star c tarot Let's dive in a little bit deeper about this Page of Pentacles energy. Let's see, let's see, Great Spirit. What do you have to tell us about this Page of Pentacles energy? What is this new energy that we have here? I'm just seeing like, like a plant. Like, you know when you first plant a seed? And then um, you see the buddings of it, like the like it bursts through the um, the soil. That's what I'm seeing. That, that's how I see y'all. All right. Oh, beautiful. All right. So we have the Page of Wands. We have the King of Cups. All right. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Bottom of the deck is Ascension. This is the world in this deck. All right. So. This means that a cycle has completed and you're coming into a new cycle here. All right, so let's look at the energies that just came out right quick. All right, Page of Wands, King of Cups, Ten of Cups. Okay, this is a lot of emotional energy. Um, I see... I see... Is someone coming to a realization about something or I'm also getting an offer of something here? This is everything that you wanted and prayed for. All right. This is something passionate that you've been wanting or this is a passion of yours. Um, consciousness. There's something about your consciousness. Okay. Um, I heard Christ consciousness for some of you all. I'm getting Sekhmet energy from this card. So 
This is about personal power. All right. This is about, I feel like it's slaying like demons. I feel like it's internal demons. Okay. This could be where somebody else is slaying their internal demons. Right. Also, if it's like a love thing for some of y'all, somebody is trying to understand you more, learn more about you, um, or maybe they understand you more now. Okay, so I'm getting like an excellent opportunity here. So maybe somebody sees you as like somebody they can grow with, um, somebody that is spiritually in tune or emotionally in tune with them. Somebody showing up as the King of Cups, so they have all this emotion like pouring out of them about you. Okay, let's tap in a little deeper. Great Spirit, what is the Page of Wands? But yeah, I feel like somebody feels very passionate about you. Whoever this is could be younger than you or you're younger than them. Also, for some of you, um, if this is a work situation, you're like, you could be a young person or break, just breaking it, newly breaking into some type of um, career or something like that. But I see a lot of success for you. All right. You could be a counselor or you counsel other people or people come to you for counseling or something like that. Or you're going to a counselor. Somebody else could be going to a counselor. All right. Let's see. Um of one spirit so we have the tower so this is a i'm getting an awakening this is a breakdown of something here or somebody being broken down or something is being broken down eight of pentacles so this is work as well so some of y'all are just switching up how y'all think about work or the type of work that you do or want to do or the type of work that you believe that you can get with the emperor here, I'm getting that some of y'all can um, take control of your, yeah, this is a contract. Y'all are about to sign a contract or something like that, but you'll be in control of your finances, in control of your situation or something like that. Because I get that something have fallen apart. Maybe some of y'all lost your job and you're praying for another one and you want another one, okay? Um, yeah. I'm also getting this could be somebody trying to work on something with you because something had broken down and now they want to take control and take a leap of faith. Okay, so this is you taking a leap of faith on something or someone or somebody taking a leap of faith with you. Yes, ma'am, because I'm seeing the six of pentacles and the um the sun here. So this is going to make you so happy because there's going to be an equal giving and receiving in whatever situation this is. I'm also getting that if this is a work situation for y'all, if this is like a new job or something like that, you're going to be getting paid exactly what you deserve. All right. And it's going to make you really happy. So what is this uh, King of Cups, Great Spirit? Y'all, I, I can't even describe how happy I am to see that the energy has shifted. Okay. Because these past couple days, man energy's been it's been heavy not on y'all side too too much but i feel like it's like the people around you or the people that you're dealing with yeah we have the ace of cups y'all so this is a an offer here for some of y'all this is an emotional offer some of y'all are um somebody wants to propose to you either marriage or they want to get into a relationship with you for others of you um you might be pregnant with a girl Okay, congratulations to y'all for all this good news. Let's get, I'm getting good news. Seven of swords, but I'm getting that the good news is being hidden or somebody's emotions. Somebody's hiding their emotions right now or something like that. Or hiding the, the good news that they have, okay? Or this is what Spirit is saying is to keep it to yourself. Keep it to yourself right now till everything is solidified because water isn't solid unless it's frozen so yeah <laughs> okay so we have the four of cups okay what else what else grace here what else what else what else yeah something is coming your way but you don't see it right now so some of y'all could be going through some shit right now and it's just like damn like this could really help me or i really want to talk to this person okay and then we have the six of pentacles pop back so somebody wants to equally give and receive with you okay the sun is back out 
with the uh, five of wands somebody feels bad about how they did you all right or you feel bad about how a situation went down something wasn't fair there was a lot of fighting or competition here all right and i feel like somebody's dropping dropping it or dropping the burdens or dropping some type of issue here yeah because they they want to be with you um they want a stable foundation with you yeah because they're being prompted by the divine or you're being prompted by the divine okay take it as it resonates y'all so what's the ten of cups thank you we have the four of pentacles so this is something being held on to this is, i'm also getting stability stability and security all right what else great spirit about this ten of cups or right, this is how somebody sees you they see you as stable and secure knight of cups yeah so they want to offer you something or somebody wants to offer you stability and security because you're their ten of cups they're you're their spiritual fulfillment like they feel ultimately happy with you you're, they're the happiest with you that they've ever been or you're the happiest with somebody that you've ever been or something is about to make you the happiest you've ever been ten of swords so this is um an ending here what is this ending uh let's hear it okay the hierophant temperance at the bottom of the deck so y'all had to heal from something y'all had to heal from an ending somebody had walked away from y'all or you walked away from somebody and something had to heal so yeah i'm definitely getting marriage okay i'm getting contracts being signed all right um something had ended for y'all this could have been a job a, f a family situation um a home situation something that was burdensome okay But I feel like something is coming around or coming back around for you all. So, okay. Let's tap into the um, Oracle of the Dragon Fae. Let's see what we get, what advice we can get today. Yeah, I also feel like somebody's holding on to you, the love that they want to give you, or the love that you gave. Okay. Or for some of if it's a job situation, they held on to your um, application or something like that. And then they're about to offer you something here. So that's exciting. So let's see. Great, here, what advice do you have to give to us? bottom of the deck we have queen unaga brilliant solution is on its way so i'm getting something is about to be resolved here some type of issue that y'all have been having for a long time is about to end and i feel like that's why we have the ten of swords so whatever issue this has been or maybe somebody's going through some type of internal issue all right so we have card number 26 Pelinor and the lady bittersweet farewell card number 26 comes out to a number eight okay so this is about work all right somebody's wishing and praying that they could put some work in with you because something had ended all right and something was bittersweet but i'm getting that something had ended for a reason um let's see here card number 26 It says, this card is a card of lovers finding it difficult to be separated even for a moment. The card of friends who find that leaving each other's company means a lonesome time. Damn, I was literally, okay, let me, let me stop. Hold on, I'll tell y'all later. Um, lonesome time and the card of fellow travelers on life's journey needing to go their separate ways for a time. It's bittersweet. The reason the separation feels hard is because there's so much love. A note on love and lovers as it's too, as it is so longed for, dreamt of and despaired 
of two. This card also, this card can also signify that two lovers will be reunited. Aww. <gasps> that is, so it is kind of piggybacking off the energy, but it's still good energy. So, okay. Um, where was I at? Um, 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 it says it could also mean that there's a part of your own soul that feels as though it's missing at present and that the longing you feel for a particular kind of relationship is simply a longing that part of your soul that is recognized in the mirror. Wait, 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 wait. Let me reread that because I feel like I fucked that up. It says it could also mean that there is a part of your own soul that feels as though it's missing at present. And that the longing you feel for a particular kind of relationship is simply a longing for that part of your soul that is recognized in the mirror of their eyes. Interesting. It may be time to find that soul self and nurture it by seeing and finding and feeding it within your own self rather than relying on another to bring it to life. While this brings, while the beings in the card are so very much in love, so very much part of each other, and so very meant to be together, for a time they cannot be in the kind of relationship they both long for. They're saying goodbye and it is it is a sweet and painful parting that neither wish for. This card always indicates that there is a separation of sorts taking place and that even so, there is great hope. Um, oh, y'all, there's great hope. And it's like that budding that I was talking about in the beginning. Like, it's like a I heard budding romance, so maybe somebody like sees you now, or you see somebody now, and like, and the the love is just grown or something like that. The love is there, but yeah, there's definitely been a separation here, a tower, something came down, all right, and now I feel like somebody wants to work on it with you or something. Somebody's about to offer you something here, and some type of separation will end. Um, but it's like some of y'all had to work on something first. And I feel like that's getting control of a situation here. Some of y'all had to get control of a situation here. All right. Somebody's willing to uh, give and receive with you equally now. Someone's not letting you go. Someone hasn't let you go. Or you're not letting somebody go because of the Ten of Cups energy. Because y'all see a future with each other. Because y'all see like stability, growth, it marriage for some of y'all as well. Okay. Um, oh, that's so sweet. So I'm getting that whatever issues that put y'all in separation or kept y'all apart, that is ending. All right. So that could be anything. This could be other people. This could be money. This could be like internal shit. Or just like, yeah, internal shit, things that needed to be worked on, emotional shit. All right, so let's tap into the um, Akashic Tarot. Spirit, what do you have for the collective? That's way too many cards, actually. Can I get one, please? Thank you. So, summer slash winter, five of forces. Bottom of the deck is caught in the ruins in reverse. All right, so what was the eight of swords in the other deck oh bet 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 okay so let me show y'all this because it's literally the same energy um bro what the hell so you see the eight of swords right here right she opened this um this gate she's taking off the blindfold realizing that she has the ability to cut herself out of some type of situation here or that something, it's like illusion, something isn't, it's so something she wasn't seeing here or they weren't seeing, I don't know. I'm just saying she because it's a female here, but um, male or female, cause I read for both, right? But whoever this is, they're seeing that they're not stuck. All right, they're not stuck with this card here showing up up uh, in the reverse. 
because look, you're coming out of it. Okay, somebody may have felt like they were stuck with somebody for life or something like that, or stuck in a situation forever, or like their mind would, I don't know, it's like their minds was playing tricks on them or something like that, or they didn't see the full picture or understand something fully. But that's in reverse now, right? They're coming out of that. They're coming out of the ruins. And it's like they're seeing the light now is what I'm getting. They're understanding something now. All right. That's crazy. Like the archway, bro. This is like really. Spirit is really telling me something, right? And telling us something on some real shit. Okay. I also feel like somebody's going to come with you to, with the truth or somebody's finally telling themselves the truth. All right. So let's see what the five of forces is. Summer slash winter. Um, so we did just come out of winter. So something might be budding in the summer. It says the seasonal cycle card reveals how best to spend your energy at this time. The beautiful sunlit sky of summer overlooks farmers working hard on their growing crops. What did I say about crops and like budding of something? Y'all, come on now. The garden of love is what I'm getting, okay? Summer is a yang time of great activity, so this is your this is your notice to get going. Action is an important part of this cycle and it can take many forms. There may be something you can do to accelerate your professional life. Ooh, so yeah, for some of y'all, it's definitely your professional life. So something is budding or growing or is just like taking form, has taken shape. And you can finally like see the progress. This may be part, this may be, this may also be the perfect time to take steps towards your personal goals. Perhaps get more exercise, plan more social events or start a fun activity you've been wanting to do. You may you might also reflect on what actions or perspective would attract a new romance or enhance your love life. This card tells you to consider what needs to be done, then go for it. This cycle is a perfect time to create a smiling, self-loving energy and project it outward to the world to see. Also, don't be surprised if a trip is coming your way. This card implies movement of some kind, so get ready. So yeah, I'm definitely getting, things are looking brighter. Things are on the up and up for you, okay? Your career life is going to improve. Your love life is improving, all right? And this could be somebody else. Maybe their career has improved or they got a job or something like that. I want. I feel like somebody wants to share some good news with you as well. Somebody's been putting in positive action towards whatever their goals and wants are. Goals and dreams. So yeah, y'all could see something happen in the summertime. Uh, I'm also seeing y'all are pouring a lot of love into yourselves. So this could also be like that cups energy. You could be the king of cups. Some of y'all could be like healing, self-reflecting, right? Journaling, crying it out healing understanding things that may have happened in the past why certain things didn't work out before okay maybe some of y'all had control issues or you were dealing with people with control issues okay but regardless y'all are coming out of a shitty cycle and so is somebody else so y'all could be mirroring this to one another all right so let's tap into the ancestors message but yeah Overall, there's healing, there's patience that needs to be had, and there's movement, all right? There's movement here. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting some realizations here. Somebody realizes something, or you realize something here. So Spirit is just saying, okay, now that you realize it, now that you understand, it's time to be patient. Work on yourself, work on what you need to work on because things are coming together um, the way that they're supposed to be coming together, okay? All right, let's see. Okay, so there's a warning here. Spirit is warning you all of something. 
we have candle magic so somebody could be doing candle magic on you maybe they could be trying to draw you in with candle magic so somebody's warning you something or about something um somebody has a baby on the way or maybe you're pregnant dream messages so um pay attention to your dreams or somebody's having dreams about you all right and they're understanding something here or you're understanding something here you are free so you're free of something or someone okay or a situation maybe you thought you um i don't know so for some of y'all maybe you thought you were you're free to i'm getting you're free to do as you please all right something or someone can't hold you back um maybe somebody they got into the this could be like past energy um they have a baby on the way and they're not telling you that oh what did i say oh, i did say that whoever is pregnant or has a baby on the way just so you know it's a girl okay you have a female on the way baby girl congratulations to you but if you're trying to get with somebody else um and you you know that you're being deceptive you're using candle magic you're trying to come to them in their dreams doing come to me spells spirit is warning you to leave this person alone because you're about to receive a terrible terror moment that's going to bring you to your knees okay we have big news oh yeah it's some shit going down so y'all are getting news about like i said some of y'all getting um a job or you're gonna be getting news about somebody getting a job or something like that or somebody pregnant all right rich bitch i'm telling y'all y'all are getting a career or some type of job that's gonna help y'all accelerate and go to the next level okay okay spirit baby y'all there's a lot about babies here so there's something about a child for sure for sure for sure there's a baby here you have all you need so spirit is telling you that you have all you telling you you have everything that you need here okay i'm definitely getting virgo energy demons somebody is fighting their demons um damn okay so somebody yeah for others of you i'm getting like somebody wants to apologize to you for being in demonic energy um being in devil energy or something like that maybe somebody is really evil to you there's something about a prostitute or just hoes or thotties i don't know why i heard thotties who says thotties anymore who's watching me and says thotties anyways i'm getting um hoes or paying for sexual flip fav favors i almost said flavors nigga wait okay so you've seen their demons they they like hoes or they deal with hoes or prostitutes or they um they subscribe to like only fans shit all right but whoever this is, this person, um, they were fighting their demons because I think they liked like multiple people or like, they, I don't know. That that just could be their thing that they were fighting with internally, right? And I don't know, there was something about them or something about you that made them jealous. So they like did some shit to you. Or maybe they like, dealt with a hoe okay they could have dealt with a hoe because they were jealous of you or what you had going on okay they want to apologize to you because something had backfired here and this could very well be the black or the black magic mm -hmm. the candle magic that they were doing okay yeah something backfired 
something backfired on somebody. Maybe the plans that they were having or what they were trying to do to you, it didn't work. Or if they were trying to make you jealous, it didn't work. And it only fucked them up even worse. So, yeah. Excuse me. Let's see. Let's tap into the Angels of Atlantis and see what advice we can get from them. Buddy. Some of y'all are definitely pregnant, okay? Because I'm seeing like the rabbit here, the bunny rabbit right here. So some of y'all could be pregnant and you don't even know it. And that's why your emotions are just like everywhere. Like, oh my God, like, I don't have this or this person's gone. Or... Some of y'all are afraid of being like single parents. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna have everything you need to take care of this child in, in case y'all are like worried about the baby and like what's gonna happen. And if you're gonna have enough, if the baby's gonna grow up with enough, the baby's gonna have enough, okay? The Most High is gonna ensure that you and um, whoever you're having this child with um, this child is taken care of, okay? So, I'll praise to the most high for that, right? So, let's see. Ah! Loving the energy, y'all. I'm really loving the energy. Okay, let's see. Okay, can I get one more card, please, for this for it? bottom of the deck we have archangel uriel trust so the most high the divine they want you to trust what's going on right you may not trust everything you may not even trust somebody all right you may some of y'all may not even trust yourselves completely but spirit is saying that things are working in your favor things are happening as they're supposed to okay so just trust in this divine orchestration okay because yeah, for sure, this is definitely the energy of this whole week. There's a mountain that was climbed or that needed to be climbed or some shit like that, right? Um, but it's like something has been overcome, okay? So you're overcoming something, somebody overcame something, or somebody overcame a demon or demons, or you overcame your own demons, or some type of internal issues that you may have had, all right? So we have Archangel Zachiel, Gratitude so oh my gosh okay i'm gonna come out with that later oh damn there's a lot of stuff that i said that i was gonna come out with later anyways so gratitude um spirit is saying be grat be gracious have gratitude now because there's so much coming into y'all just see like abundance and happiness and just bliss just pouring into you it's just so much you're gonna have more than enough like i said so be grateful for it already i don't know you know if y'all really believe in that, spirit is saying to trust. That's why spirit is saying to trust, right? Trust and have gratitude because it's already here. It's already on its way, right? Some of y'all may not have believed in it before or because you don't see it. You don't believe it. But spirit is saying like trust those little nudges, right? Be grateful as well for the things that came and left in your life. Be grateful for the lessons, all right? And we have faith right? Archangel Raziel. So spirit is saying to have faith, keep the faith, have faith in yourself, believe in the things that you were told by the divine. Okay. Even in this message, right? Believe. Because I know some of y'all have like really strong faith. Maybe some of y'all's faith was shaken a little bit, right? By some of the things that had happened. But spirit is saying, don't, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Okay um trust trust in the divine trust in you know um your spirit guides and all that because i definitely feel even for some of y'all with this spirit baby um your child and spirit is leading you is and if there's some of y'all that had a miscarriage my condolences to you all but you will see that baby in the physical 
one day, right? The baby may have left, but the baby's gonna come back, right? In a different form. You have all you need. You're gonna, what did I, y'all wanna cry. I wanna cry because everything I'm saying is literally like piggybacking off of each other. You have all you need and you will always have everything that you need. So like I said, be grateful for that. Archangel Sandalphon, y'all are going through it. Um, y'all are evolving right now, spiritually, mentally, physically, on all levels, okay? And so this is why you all are getting blessed. This is why things are changing, shifting. That's why the energy has shifted these past couple of days because of your evolution as a person here on earth, right? The lessons that you've learned. So some of y'all are understanding something here. Y'all are healing something here. Okay, so the healing is working. All right, ascen y'all are ascension, evolution, right? Y'all are just going up. Y'all, like I said earlier, y'all are on the up and up. All right, what is this? Somebody is in regret. Somebody misses you. Somebody misses their two of cups. Okay, somebody's disappointed in what had happened, but they're coming back. Okay, I'm also getting somebody may have been in pain from past situations here and they didn't see you clearly or they didn't understand or value your presence in their life, all right? Or this could be you. You didn't value somebody's presence in your in your life until they left. <clears throat> Here they come again. You're going to have a beautiful family. I promise you that, all right? I promise you, all right? But for others of you, I'm seeing be careful because somebody wants to, somebody's trying to lure you in. Okay, somebody's trying to lure you in. And they may not have the best intentions for you. I want to see the signs that we're dealing with. Here. Who and what? what? Signs, energies, all that. So let's tap into the Zodiac Oracle. Let's see what type of signs and energies are um, we're dealing with. Or we're working with. Okay. Is that your first food? Is that all you want? Bottom of the deck is Mars, so he. This is action. This is war energy. I don't, I don't know why I yelled that. War energy. Okay. All right. So we have Virgo. So some of you could be a Virgo or you're dealing with a Virgo. We have Jupiter. So this is the good luck energy that I'm picking up on. This is blessings coming down to you. This is also understanding, right? Learning the lessons, getting the lessons and getting the blessings from those lessons, okay? Then we have air, all right? So air energy, that's also, um, what signs are those? That's Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Five, six, seven. So seven, this could also have a lot to do with your seventh house, your house of partnerships, relationships. Um, yeah, partnerships, relationships, maybe even contracts, right? So I'm also getting a contract in the ethers. Okay. And then we have earth. So earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. So the only sign that came out is Virgo. <laughs> and that's an earth sign. But we have um the air as well. And then Mars, so that's Aries. And Aries and what, y'all? Mars, Aries, and then what? I don't know why I'm thinking Scorpio for some reason, but I don't know. Y'all let me know on the uh, deck down below, or the deck. The comment section down below. Okay. All right. Yeah, somebody is not stuck doing the same shit that they used to do all the time. Um, or they don't want to do the shit that they used to do anymore. Because they're realizing that that kept them stuck. And they're realizing they're not stuck. Ah, 
Such good energy, y'all. All right. Tapping into the Goddess Guidance Oracle. Let's see what advice we can get from the, the goddesses. Good spirit. Is there anything else that y'all want? Bottom of the deck, we have Dana, High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. So some of y'all may be spiritual teachers. All right, the, all right, everything that y'all went through, like I said, y'all have learned a lot, lessons and blessings. So you're gonna be having people come to you for your services. All right, some of y'all, um, yeah, some of y'all have services that people come to you for or something like that, where that's what you're about to do. You're about to flourish in that, okay? Um, I'm also getting, yes, y'all have a lot of divine knowledge, divine wisdom that can help other people because you've been through it, been there, done that type of shit is what I'm getting. So, all right. So we have Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So I'm getting a lot of like intuition or intuitive nudges or something like that. So yeah, y'all are, um, pay attention to your dreams as well. So y'all could be getting premonitions in your dreams is what I'm hearing. But I'm also getting y'all are a queen or a king. And it's like ruling of a nation. Okay. Ruling of a nation. That's all. Look, uh, take it as it resonates. We have Sedna, infinite supply. Your supply for today and all of your tomorrows. So y'all are going to want for nothing. Okay. Everything that you need, everything that you want will always and forever be supplied to you all right y'all are realizing that there truly is no lack is also what i'm getting there truly is no lack rich bitch energy come on now no lack at all i'm also feeling somebody feels like they can be um abundant with you especially financially not even just financially but emotionally spiritually there's a lot of water spiritual water moves um spirit moves through water so I feel like there's a lot of peace as well that will be coming towards you. And so we have Artemis, guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected, okay? So if there's anybody throwing magic at you or trying to lure you in, all right? Um, you were divinely protected from all that, you and your families, especially people just like throwing low, lower vibrational energies at y'all it's it can't work okay it can't work it cannot work and spirit is telling you to trust in that trust in that because i mean it's just the truth everything has been working in your favor you feel me okay and then we have unag easy does it there's no need to hurry or force things to happen everything's occurring in perfect timing so Spirit is just saying to chill, take your, take some time out, relax, like don't push anything, don't pull anything, don't be in anxiety, don't be in worry because things are working out exactly how they're supposed to right now. Things are happening in divine timing, right? Things happened the way that they were supposed to. Maybe I'm getting something was a right person, wrong time, okay? Right person, wrong time. Or maybe for somebody else's career, it was it's the right career for you, but you um when you were trying to do it before, it couldn't bloom or blossom or bud because there were still things that you needed to learn and go through and evolve through. Okay. Your beliefs had to be checked, realigned, something like that. Your beliefs, how you think, how you move, right? Healing needed to be done. A lot of healing needed to be done. And now it's your time. Okay. Let's see how we can take care of ourselves through this cycle. Anything else, please? No. So bottom of the deck, we have sound healing. So spirit is saying to listen to 
some type of musical healing, okay? Or if music heals you, then listen to songs that you feel like would heal you. Um, I'm also getting like singing bowls. So listen to videos like that or like Hertz, like 528, 432 Hertz. Okay, so Spirit is saying to drink tea. Okay, drink your tea. All right, um, look into the type of herbs that you want to help you. Look what type of tea, look up what type of tea that is and get it. Or maybe, yeah, or maybe keep drinking more of it. Spirit is saying, and if you're already drinking tea, there's like a certain type of tea some of y'all are drinking. Um, Spirit is saying, yes, these teas are helping you, okay? Also, if you want to drink tea for... If you're trying to not get pregnant, there's certain teas for that. If you're trying to get pregnant, there's certain teas for that. Okay? There's also certain teas for, like, manifestations. Okay? All right. Then we have clear your energy field. So some of y'all may need to cleanse and clear your energy, some things that you may have, or some a space or something like that. All right, or just yourself. She's holding a bundle of sage, so maybe clear with some sage or like Palo Santo or whatever type of herb that you feel comfortable with. And then we have card number 41, positive affirmation. So this is um, speaking life into your world, okay? Into the things that you want to create, into the things that you wanna see. All right, spirit is saying to speak those things into yourself, into the, into those things and um just watch magic happen. All right. See, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Okay. Um, if y'all want a personal reading, that information is down below. All right. And yeah, if this resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up and I will talk to y'all later.